This one's gonna be going to Charleston for its new owner. Clay, this was a pleasure to make this for your family. I think you're gonna really love it and it should be a member of your family for hopefully generations to come. So we got the 1979 15 side console striper edition, my favorite of the, the 15 layouts once it's kind of reconfigured. We got the Tempest flip up seats here, the most comfortable way to sit on a 15. I love those seats and they fold down really nicely. So when you're trailering, they don't come popping up on you. And then when you want to actually put them up, good to go. Got the bench in the back with the seats and then we also have a bench in the front. These are quick release in the bottom so there's some stainless latches under there and it comes right out. So you can put bean bags up here to be a little more comfortable or you can have this for kind of cocktail cruising around. You can sit one person here facing backwards, it's very social um, and you know put a little cutting board on there and it's a stylish little cocktail cruise. Um, all of the varnish in this boat is Epiphanes. It's very, very, very glossy and deep. Looks fantastic in the bright sunlight and it's also very, very protective. Got our light gray or dark gray sea deck. Original brass Norman pin. Color scheme on this boat is an oyster white. This is Alexiel two-part polyurethane. It is creamy and delicious. It looks like a milkshake. Two-tone rub rail, which is standard on all the boats. All original hardware, moving back to the, uh, the railing. Original destroyer wheel on there with the original hub. We are missing the windshield right now. We're waiting on that from the manufacturer, so that should be here to the client uh, the next month or so. One pull switch on the dash is my go-to. I love having just one switch. I think it's just something about simplicity that is amazing on boats. And when it comes down to just having nav lights and a very simple GPS, uh, it's, it's pretty neat. This GPS is hooked up to the motor, so you have all of the diagnostics, the RPMs, the fuel burn, the remaining fuel, everything is on that screen. It can be configured however you want. Hydraulic steering, which all the boats have, it's standard. Inside the console, we've got the Odyssey uh, Extreme battery tucked out of the way. There's also plenty of storage up there. I get asked about storage in these boats a lot because there are no hatches, clearly. you got a little bit in the front, but that is wet some of the time. Uh, this is a good place back here on the console for a dry bag or uh, just, you know, you can actually fit a lot more than you think up, up under there. 15 gallon fuel tank, quick release, so you can pop it out if you need to and refill it. Also the Raycor fuel water separator over there to the right, tucked away out of sight. The power in this boat is the Yamaha F70, which is no surprise. I love the F70. It's the go-to motor for this particular boat, in my opinion. Prop with a Powertech SCD. Speeds in this boat, you're looking at low 40s, depending on your load. And it's really propped for great mid-range and hole shots. So you do have um, that good performance where you spend most of your time. Moving into this beautiful piece of artwork from Raymond uh, and Martin Marine Design. This is a amazingly gorgeous teak swim platform doesn't really need a whole lot of explaining other than that it's beautiful and I love putting them on the 15 because it really makes it easy to get in and out of the boat. This just telescopes out and then drops down and it makes it so easy to get in and out. And it's super stylish. Can't beat that. Transom saver in the back. Love to have those for boats that are being trailered around. Uh, just why not? You got your, your galvanized 2020 caravan trailer, simple works. Got the spare tire and the swing tongue on the front. So anyways, uh, this is a, another simple but amazingly cool 15. Clay, this was a pleasure. I think you're gonna really enjoy this boat and uh, have some fun on the coast, man.